Hey guys, good morning. What's up? I'm Yalek, and here is today's Boom Beach video. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about defenses today because we're going to do Lieutenant Hammerman, and I know I said I wouldn't do a lot of that, but um, it sort of ties in with the first thing that I'm going to show you, which is as I was getting my supply chest this morning, I ran into this base that one? Nope. I lost 12 on that one. Is it this one? I think it's that one. Yeah. This fella. And this is just probably the prettiest warrior rush I've ever done. Uh, great resources off it too. Thank you. Um, if you are setting up your base defense, uh, there are things you don't want to do. And this guy has committed a couple of the cardinal sins. First of all, you've noticed He's got things all lumped together. Now one thing I don't like to do in setting up any of my base defenses is uh, this sort of thing. Um, where you've got uh, this right here, this is perfect. If you People don't usually take the time to BART cannons, however this one has these two buildings attached to it, which if I did want to BART that, that would give me 6 extra GB. Um, and by the time this went down, this is going to have a higher, this cannon is going to have a higher uh, health than either of these buildings. So these two would have guaranteed to be down also. If it's a barrage and I threw it up this way, I might have some damage on these buildings back here. I, I try not to set up situations where people are, are getting a two for one on GBE. You're just helping them stretch out their GBE by giving them freebies while they're attacking things that they would probably have attacked anyway. This boom cannon, for example. Uh, has this is directly attached and so that's an artillery will damage both and a barrage will probably damage this also um, thing number two that this guy has done cardinal sin number two so number one is don't bunch your buildings I don't know if bunchy is a word but I use it a lot in boom beach so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a word um, my dictionary now recognizes it as a word if that's anything to you <laughs> um, Cardinal sin number two, uh, this guy's made a huge mistake. All of his range towers are clustered together anyway, so this is a base I could possibly have approached with RCZM, because uh, in that approach I could probably, now this guy does have ice, um, but in that approach I could pretty easily bark these down and start damaging these. If I couldn't uh, finish damaging them, they're still very easily controlled with a shock. Um, but I saw a different approach here. I normally don't go at shield bases with uh, warriors if I see a base that doesn't have shields um, then I will go almost almost exclusively with warriors because it's usually so easy. do run into trouble with some bases that are uh, where the HQ is set way to the back or way in the corners. It can be hard to get there. This guy has made a third cardinal sin in that sense by having all of his range towers back here he's created all of this dead space uh, he's giving me the beach and he's also giving me basically the equivalent I mean if you look at my finger taps here of another beach here it's just dead space I don't even have to start smoking until we get about to that beach mystery um, so I mean you put your HQ way at the back of a base or stuff it way in the corner to try to force people to walk longer and stretch out their GBE. More smokes, more flares, whatever. Um, this guy has negated much of that effect by having all of this dead space up at the front of his base. And then the final thing that I saw with this base, which really made me want to try the Warriors. Um, I'm look, He's put both of these shock launchers right up next to his HQ and right next to each other and touching. But I'm thinking to myself, if I can get bullet, obviously if you're doing warriors and using bullet, you're going to want to use taunt. If I can get bullet, bullets uh, in this area, bullets probably going to sit, he sits a little distance from the HQ, the warriors will be um, scattered around it. Bullet's going to sit right around back in here. He's going to sit in the blind spot of potentially both these shock launchers, and they're not going to be able to do a thing because they won't be able to shoot him, but they won't be able to shoot anything else because they have been taunted. Which means really there's only one defense in this base that I have to worry about. 
and it's this shock blaster. So taunt and one shock and count the taunt so that you know when to retaunt and if necessary another shock. Just sit there and blast through the shield. I'm like, okay. So I didn't know if I was going to get that the first try. I didn't know if I'd get the just the right placement on bullet, but I figured I'd give it a go. So, and I was, <laughs> I'm showing you this, so I'm pretty happy with the result. I'm clearing some mines, a path. I'm going to use the ground flare tactic up ahead here. Drop everything at the beach, and you'll see I flare to a random spot in the ground somewhere in the middle of the base. That sort of helps pull them in. When, when you go to um, a tower, they sort of spread out in preparation of surrounding that tower. Then I'm going to reflare to something in the middle. I think the boom, oops, missed that one. That was a <laughs> ground flare again, and I wanted to get on, right onto the boom to pull everybody together. Um, but the ground flare helps them run a little bit uh, narrower. See how they spread out to get around buildings? The ground flare avoids that effect. So here, You can see that bullet is just about where I want him. See him right in there? The little star? Right there is his star. He's standing right perfectly placed at the, the juncture of the two shock launchers. And that is exactly where I wanted him. So I saw that and I was very happy here. Threw in the extra Super Warrior just for giggles. A little extra damage. Um, doesn't hurt because I do have to burn through a shield here. And that's it. Taunt and retaunt and keep that shock blaster shocked so bullet doesn't end up being out of commission. And that's it. Boom, 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 boom. I lose... The replay says I lost three, but at the time I did this it looked like I only lost one. And there is that glitch on the replays where, you know, occasionally you'll show a replay where you won and it shows a different outcome where you lost this says I lost three warriors. I didn't. I lost one warrior in that attack. So, tell you what, I'm going to spare you the pain of uh, Lieutenant Hammerman today. I'll do that on my own time. But, yeah, that was just a truly pretty warrior attack, with or without the, the glitch in the screen here. And it was, just a, it was just the perfect time for that attack, and I was so happy when I saw that base because, again, bunch of mistakes. Don't punch your towers. Don't punch your range towers. Uh, don't put both your shock launchers together like that and right up on the HQ. Just, yeah. And did he have ice? Yeah, I said he had ice. He had at least two, maybe three, plus the shield going. And a base design that is just shooting himself in the foot. So, oh, hey, by the way, I forgot to mention, it's my birthday. So that was my birthday present from Boom Beach this morning. That was a whole lot of fun. Hope you enjoy too. I get a run. Uh, give me a like, drop a comment, say hi. Y'all have a good day. I intend to.